Today on Engineering Newswire, we're untethering the all-new Atlas robot, fighting global warming, and doing the laundry? Washing clothing is a pain. It's time consuming, tedious, and our delicates still end up shrinking or losing their original color. Thankfully, Swiss engineering lab MPI Ultrasonics developed the Delphi. The device resembles a bar of soap and makes hand washing a hands free chore. According to the developers, the Delphi is the world's smallest and gentlest washing device, and it uses 80% less energy than standard washing machines. To use it, you just put your dirty delicates into a basin, add detergent, turn the Delphi on, and put it in the water. After about 30 minutes, the clothing will be bacteria, dirt, and odor free, while maintaining its original texture and color. So how exactly does this device work? The developers placed a small transducer inside the device's plastic outer casing. This produces modulated ultrasonic waves on a series of wavelengths that produces microscopic bubbles in the water through cavitation. After the bubbles implode, they produce small shock waves that remove dirt from the clothes' fibers. Because there is no rubbing, whirling, or stretching, your clothing will last longer and maintain their original color. Delphi's Indiegogo page launched on January 20th with the hope of raising $100,000 in 30 days. If the campaign reaches its goal, supporters would receive one as soon as August. The creators even promised to donate part of its campaign funds towards research and welfare of the animal that shares its namesake, dolphins. This is NISTAR, an instrument set to fly aboard the weather-observing spacecraft called the Deep Space Climate Observatory, or DISCOVER. Its intent? To measure the Earth's radiation budget. What about the super tornado? What about the warming's a sham! Our team was oh, the warmest year oh, we've ever had! Alright! Oh, alright! Oh, okay. Oh, okay. One of two Earth science instruments aboard DISCOVER, the National Institute of Standards and Technology Advanced Radiometer measures the absolute irradiance over a broad spectrum of the entire sunlit face of the Earth. That will tell the instrument Earth's radiation budget, or if the Earth's atmosphere is retaining more or less solar energy than it radiates back to space. If Earth is keeping more solar energy than it expels, then the Earth will warm. If the Earth in the Earth system radiates more energy to space than it receives from the Sun, the Earth will cool. <laughs> NISTAR is an active cavity radiometer designed and built between 1999 and 2001 by Ball Aerospace and Technology, working with NIST and the Scripps Institution of Oceanography. It is based on the NIST electrical substitution measurement approach and Ball Modular Instrument Electronics Technology from the Spitzer and Calypso missions. NISTAR will measure the energy reflected and emitted from the entire sunlit surface of the Earth from its orbit, a position that offers a unique continuous view of the Earth at noon. This measurement will improve our understanding of the effects of the changes to Earth's reflected and emitted radiation caused by human activities and natural phenomena. And the the right oh, up. My teacher once in middle school told me that the, the ice cats were all gonna melt and drown us and we're all gonna die, and I was like 12 years old. ENOUGH ALREADY! ENOUGH! ENOUGH! DARPA has revealed a new and improved Atlas robot. And with 75% of the robot rebuilt, it was quite the makeover. In fact, only the lower legs and feet were carried over from the original design, which was quite the improvement. The most significant changes were to the power supply and pump, which now allow the robot to operate untethered for the first time. The onboard 3.7 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack powers the robot for one hour of mixed mission operation. That is walking, standing, using of tools, and other movements not described. Maybe, maybe some dancing? The battery also powers a new variable pressure pump for more efficient and quieter operation. Other major upgrades to Alice include repositioned shoulders and arms, including new electrically actuated lower arms, an extra degree of freedom in the wrist that will allow the robot to turn a door handle by rotating just its wrist instead of its entire arm, 
three onboard perception computers and a wireless router in the head for untethered communication, resized actuators in the hip, knee, and back, and a wireless emergency stop. The new Atlas will be used by up to seven teams who will be competing in the DARPA Robotics Challenge Finals in June, where a total of 3.5 million in prizes will be awarded to the top three finalists. That's a lot of money. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. For the PD&D channel, I'm Kaylee Duffy, and this has been your Engineering Newswire. Uh, ah, whatever.